Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you what I do with my scraps and what I've done with a bunch of images I colored. I hope you'll stay tuned. Well, before I show you those things, I thought I would show you some of the cards I got for Christmas from some of my friends, and they're lovely, and I just thought uh, that they needed a little bit of love on camera. This was from my friend Sherry. She does such a beautiful job with her little snowman, and then she has the little created just for you. I love that when people have their own personalized stamp. I apologize. This one I had a little issue with. I got it stuck. And I'm sorry about that. And you know, uh, these things happen, Janice. I'm sorry. I, uh, you know, I don't know how I, I got it caught. I, I don't know what I did. But anyway, I apologize. It's such a beautiful card. And I always take such good care of my cards. But I had a moment. Anyway, it's really beautiful. It's a shaker card. And um, it's she has so many really beautiful different sequins in there. Love it. Uh, my friend Pat made this one, and she does beautiful cardinal work, and her die cutting is phenomenal. If you check on the my Facebook page, the Crafting for Almost Everyone Facebook page, you'll see some of the other things Pat's done. She has lovely, lovely work, and I don't know if she, yes, she has handmade stamp because I can't draw. Love that. And then this one is also a bunch of really beautiful die cuts. This is from my friend Kelly. Kelly does beautiful work, and um, this one is no exception, really pretty. And of course I made it, and she even dates it, and she put it in. So then my friend Linda sent me one. Linda, I don't know what I did with your card. I'm so sorry I haven't shown it, and I don't know what I did with it. And when I find it, I'm going to show it. Maybe I already put it in the box, but I don't think I did. Anyway, I apologize that I haven't shown it on camera, but you know me. I'm a little bit dingy. Okay, so let's talk about the um, sheer volume of this mess that I created. I, year, okay, I'm going to say it this way. Years ago, I'm going to put the pile like this because it's so bad. Um, years ago, I, maybe four years ago, I was um, confined to my chair, and so I thought, oh, I'll just color images. Okay, well, that was a great idea, but then once I colored those images, I didn't know what to do with them. And in addition to that, my friend Kath sent me these beautiful images that I also affixed to card bases. So there's just uh, two or three of those, but I wanted to make sure I you know, didn't confuse you with that. So what I decided I was going to do is I was going to take all those card bases that you buy. You know the ones, the ones from Michaels that are like this, that are, you know, inexpensive, but, you know, whatever. And I was going to use these rub-ons that I had from Stampin' Up! that are older. And, you know, rub-ons kind of break down over time, so I wanted to get rid of some of those. And I decided to, the first thing I did, well, let me get these two out of the way because you already understand what I did with these because those are the ones that Kath sent me. So what I did first was... Remember, I already colored these images. The, the images themselves were done. So the first thing I did was I die cut all of them. And that took me a day, like an evening. It was a lot. I colored several cardinals because my mother's um, friends love cardinals because that was their high school mascot and they um, always have lunches together. So I like to color them and give them to those girls so that they can um, share them at their little lunch and then give them away, you know, after their lunch and they can just give them away. But uh, I always make several of those. So you'll see several cardinals. Mostly though, the things I've colored are not um, replicated. There are a few, but most are not. So, okay, again, I use the card bases from Michaels, and there are a variety of them. This is still a card base from Michaels. I'm sorry about the glare. And then, um, 
this is the only one I'm disappointed. I don't know if you can see that where it says thanks a million. I really thought the white rub on would show up good on this, but it didn't. And then the little image, I did color the image and then I just did three layers on that. The card bases that I got from Michaels kind of had an embossed look to them, or some of them did. So you'll see that as we go and I'll explain that when I get to them. Then there's this little one that um, is, it was an old Stampin' Up! stamp that was for a shower and I thought it'd be fun to make it as a shower card. I don't have anything in the inside, but then I, um, you know, made it, I used watercolor pencils when I originally colored it. Put that one separate. This one is a house mouse stamp and the thanks for being you is not part of the stamp. That was one of those rub-ons and then I just layered it up on this card base. This, um, at some point, I'll get to the, oh, there it is. I had this die cut that has these little circle holes in them, and I thought it was really fun, but then what I thought was, after I cut them, I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I used those little holes? So then on this one, I um, used an embossing folder for this black one, and then I use rub-on, metallic rub-ons. If you've never seen those, let me grab those for you. Um, just in case I talk about a product you've never seen before, I got mine on eBay. It's just called metallic rub-ons. And they look like this, and you just use your finger on it, and then you rub around the base. It's an old product. It's not, you know, it's not newer. But anyway, that's what I did with this. And I thought it was just kind of fun. We have friends that we go to movies with. And I thought, you know, if I was just wanting to send them a little note, it would be cute to send them a popcorn and soda pop card. And then this one, I don't know if you can see this. I put little brads on the corners of that one. Such a happy couple. I like that sentiment. This one, I had all kinds of issues with because the... The card itself, you can see, is silver. And I'm sorry if I'm giving you a bunch of glare. And then I embossed the green. Then I used the rub-on for adorable little baby. This is where um, I started to get a little bit tired. And I thought, you know what? I have all these leftover diamonds from those diamond paintings that, well, they're not really paintings, the little ones that I made that were um, the um, notebook and the luggage tag holder and they um, looked this that was this size then I bought these they're called uh, well you buy them on eBay or Amazon or anywhere they're called nail I think they're called nail art but they're basically just little teeny tiny diamonds and I bought this kit and this side doesn't stay closed because I think it was like two dollars and so I didn't want to have it <clears throat> blow those everywhere but anyway um, I started thinking how fun it would be to glue those all over and here's how I glued them down I used this Zig memory system two-way glue squeeze and roll pen I got this from rubber stamp tapestry and I really really loved it I didn't think I would love it so much, but for gluing on these teeny tiny things, it worked so well, I couldn't believe it. Then I had, when I first started making cards, I had bought a set of Anna Griffin uh, cards that were kind of pre-made, but not really. And they came with these really nice sentiments and they're raised and, you know, they're just really nice. And I thought it was really fun to put it on with this little turtle. And then I put a little piece of ribbon and that's him. These are all four and a quarter by five and a half inch cards in case you wondered. I'll tell you when I get to bigger ones or smaller ones. This one is, um, again, just layered. And then I took patterned paper and I put it in a layer. And then I took some of those little nail art diamonds or whatever you'd call them and put them there. This one I loved because I colored this so crazily that um, I wondered if I'd ever use it. And then I found this card base and I thought this is perfect for it. And I really loved it. And I wish I would have had um, a brad that was in that blue color. And then I thought about maybe coloring the brads blue with my alcohol markers. But then I got tired and didn't. Trust me when I tell you 
this doesn't even make a dent in how many cards I made. I'll just keep going until I keel over. Thanks for all you do. This is one of the Hedgehog series, and I love the Hedgehogs, and I thought it was really fun with the layers. This one, I wasn't sure if this was weird or not, but it's flamingos, and so I thought I'd put it on a really fun and frisky background, and this is a 5x7 card, so it's bigger, and that's its envelope. I, I haven't um, done anything to my envelopes yet, because I have 5,000 cards that I have to make envelopes for. This one is wishing you a very happy birthday. Again, that was one of those Anna Griffin sentiments. I loved this one. I've always loved this stamp. And I, if I could stamp one stamp repeatedly, there's two that I would do. And one of them would be this one. I just love this one. These little hedgehogs are just so much fun. And uh, it's just the coolest little stamp. And then here's a little kitty cat where I put some, I just put some ribbon underneath and another one of those Anna Griffin happy birthdays. I had this little bird. And then the paper that I, I didn't have pattern paper that was exactly what I wanted. So what I did was I took my um, colored pencils and I just used a ruler and I ran it sideways. Mm, I'll just show you kind of with a regular pencil. I kind of ran it like this so that you got a more um, kind of a, I ran it like this, so that you got an image that was kind of distressed and I did it four times and then I put those diamonds from I think those are from a diamond painting that's what I did with that with that glue pen that I talked about this one I had pattern paper but my pattern paper wasn't the right colors so I took an alcohol marker and I changed their colors and there wasn't any green in my envelope so I and there was green in the background. So I took brads that were green to make the background work with that. I thought it was kind of fun. Hope your special day is wonderful. I had this embellishment and I thought it was really, really pretty. And I had, this was actually a card base. No, it went in the middle. So I cut the card base down and then I used my corner rounder and if you don't know about my corner rounder, it, I'm obsessed with my corner rounder. It's the greatest tool I've ever bought. It's called the Kato, Katomaru Pro. And it has a small, medium, and large sizes. It's the greatest. It's around $10 on Amazon. And if you don't have a, cat, a corner rounder that you love, I tell you, you will love that one. This one, I made the background paper a while ago when I wanted to show you how to make a wood background. And so I'll connect a video here that shows you how to make that wood piece. But that I just had in my stash and I thought I'll use that. And then I just used a bunch of different dyes. I used different, you know, this one and this one. They're from different die sets, and I just thought they were fun. And then I thought this was too bland, so I took, uh, I think it was Stormy Sky Distress Oxide, and I colored around the edges of it so that it would be more in keeping with the blue that I chose for behind it. I really like this card. This one, I didn't love as much as I wanted to love it because... This card base is just, um, this is the only set of those, of those Michaels cards that I really didn't like because they're hard to work with and they're very flimsy. I mean, very, very flimsy. Uh, I thought by putting a really heavy, big image that was on foam would make a big difference. Oh, and I use, I don't know if you can see this, there you can see it. It's blue fun foam and I use basically the same color as my backing paper from my, you know, the dies. I use two dies, a, a little bit smaller and, and uh, a little bit bigger. And then I put them on the foam and then I thought that would make it sturdy, but it's still, it just, I don't know, it's just not weighty enough to make me happy. On the other hand, these ones really made me happy. I have this image and I don't even know where I got that stamp, but I really think it it's just one of those stamps that when you use it, you really feel like 
you're happy with the results every time. And you'll see more of these. Here's another one. And I cut them out and colored them a little bit different. There's more. You'll As I go, you'll see more of them. I also really like this dog. And so I did a lot with him. And this one I just layered him on three different um, colors of, and then put it on a gray background. And this is not a pre-made card base. I didn't have anything gray and I needed gray. So I made some gray card bases. And here's the same little dog only with a green tie. And he's in a three, this is a three inch by three inch card. Just for you on your birthday, I really liked this. These are from a Tim Holtz set of stamps and um, I just thought they were cool. That also came with the um, the popcorn and the soda pop, this one. It came with that in the same stamp set. And look how different they look just by putting them on a little bit different paper. Um, this one, again, I just colored it and then put it on the card base so it wasn't any big, it wasn't really hard. I really like this one but I struggled with what color to put on it, to put it on, and in the end I chose orange, but I wasn't sure if I loved orange, but um, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Wait till you see how many of these I have. Uh, as you know, I was really excited about those diamonds that I had from that nail art, and once I got going on it, I did a lot of those, and then that little mouse, and this is again, one of the rub-ons that I just rubbed a gift for you, right there. This one I love. I took the stamp and then I went to those diamonds and I glued from this little box, the ones that are taped shut, the black ones right there, I just glued a bunch of them down and I thought it really came out cool. And then I glued in a couple pieces of ribbon down and that's all to make it really pop and I thought it was fun. This little uh, turtle, I'm sorry about the glare on the hello, but this is just a die I had and I thought I don't know. I wasn't crazy about the way that cut out hello. I thought it would, I thought it would, the die, I thought, I had it right here somewhere. I thought it would make a surround of the hello. Instead, it, the inside doesn't cut out at all, which is disappointing for me. This one is fun because the card itself, well, you can't really see it. Uh, the card itself is one of those card bases and in the middle of it, it says love. Well, I, know, I knew I wasn't going to use the word love in a card, but I knew I could hide that. And so then I got a bunch of gold and silver card bases out of this set for like $3 at Michael's. And then uh, this is one of the Carolyn Shores Wright Robin stamps. I love her stamps. You'll, well, you'll see that when I get to them. And then I just put one of the rub-ons on, thinking of you. Then a little hedgehog, and I just took... This is just regular patterned paper, and uh, it's a heavier weight, and I just made it three inches by six inches, folded it at three inches, and made it into its own little card. And that's for, you know, it's with, for a gift. Hold on, I'm gonna get another stack. I know you're thinking to yourself, how many cards did she make? Well, the answer is a lot. Oh, heck of a lot. So this one, is I, I think I've had this one before on another background but just by changing the background I think you can really change the look of that and I just put it on a gray piece a black piece and then on that patterned it's the embossed kind of card base I really wish I'd gotten more of these and less of the uh, gold and silver and the other one that I didn't like this one is one of the Carolyn Shores Wright's card. It's a five by seven card. And I didn't have a background I liked. So what I did was I took one of my peg stamps. It's called the Triple Floral. It's from the Triple Floral Dragonfly set. And it's this stamp. And I just stamped it all over with black ink. And then I layered this on it because I didn't have paper that I liked that would work with my birds. And these are the Carolyn Shores Wright Bluebirds. This is my absolute favorite stamp in the entire world. If I color this for you, you know I love you because it takes me forever to color this. And so I've made several of these. 
and um, I'll show you the ones I've made so far. This one says, I'm here for you. And again, same, same birds. And then it's a five by seven as well. And then I made this one. And for some reason, it doesn't want to stay glued down. I've really been playing with it, trying to get it to stay glued down, but it doesn't want to. It's on foam and it's glued the same way as all the rest of them, but it just doesn't like it. This one is Hope You Feel Better, and I thought it was cute, but it doesn't want to stay glued down. And I'll put that one in its envelope so I can put it off the side. Then, then, here's my favorite. I had these left over from one of the diamond painting. It was one of the little projects. They gave me a lot of these little... Um, teardrops and I thought they were adorable so it just says sending warm wishes and I thought it was pretty and I just rounded the corners on all the layers so there's a light blue layer a darker blue layer and then the white card base and um, that's that one as I told you I made several of these because if I'm going to color those I'm going to color a lot of them at once because they're a lot of work Think Happy Thoughts. I thought this one was fun. I still haven't, I don't think I've finished this one. I like the idea of it, but I think the white is too stark for me, so I'm going to probably play with this one a little bit more. But it is, a, these are all 5 by 7 these ones with the birds, because the birds are very, they're long. The stamp itself is very long. Okay, let me move my stack. I know you're thinking to yourself, is this stack ever going to go away? The answer is, I doubt it. This one is back to the Carolyn Shores Wright birds. This is the Cardinal. And um, I I didn't know sentiment wise to do if I should do sentiments since I'm giving them to those ladies. So I a lot of, them, of the Cardinals don't have sentiments on it. This one, I thought I would do it a little bit crazy. So I used the lighter green and a pink. And both of those colors are in the card. And I wrote, friend, you're the best on it. Then this is the actual card base is silver with this dotted and then the inside is just kind of a cream color. And all I did was add a sparkly paper and then it's like a dark gray sparkly paper and then a red layer and then foam and then this image. And I thought that came out really cool. I was happy with that one. And here's another one of these little fellas. I think they're adorable. And here is another one of the Cardinals. This one I put stickles on, and I kind of dig that one more than the rest. It's really, when you add that little bit of sparkle, look how different it looks. I don't know, I'm just thinking it's cool. So then, I had this card base already stamped with just wanted to say hello, and then I had those little teardrops as I told you left over and then I had this is one of the house mouses and I thought it was so darn cute so I just made that into a card and that was using two different dies in the front this is one of those card bases that I struggled with because they're so flimsy but I thought in this case it was really fun because this you know I when I made these four years ago I had a bunch of Christmas images too, and that's where all the cardinals came from. And this one that says Christmas cheer with all of these, um, with Rudolph and the rest of the reindeer, I thought was just really fun. And so that's that one. Back to, ooh, another one of our um, cardinals, actually. Those ones are basic. Oh, I use pattern paper to back this one. I thought that was kind of different. Then on this one, I had used um, an embossing folder that was really a deep embossing folder. And the embossing that I did was on a metallic card stock. But the back of it was this brown look. And I like the back of it. And I thought it looked really cool with the cardinal. So I used it for this. You never know what you're going to do. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, there's this one I told you that I love. 
it's so cool. I just think it looks really great. And last but not least, wait, one more. Um, I love this one. And then there is this one. Thinking of you, friend. All I did with this one is I took pattern paper and I cut it and used my uh, corner rounder. Then I put orange paper behind the bird and then I cut around it so that I have an outline of the bird. See, I don't know if you can see that orange. And then I put foam, fun foam or whatever between the layers. And I thought it came out kind of cool. I'm not sure I'm crazy about the green base, but if you wanted to make your base darker, you could easily, before you glued this down, you could easily uh, use an ink and just an ink pad and just go over it with a darker ink pad, which is what I probably should have done, but I didn't. So that is how you could have done that. So in the end, this is what I've been doing for the last week. And I don't know how many I have, but I would say I probably have 50 cards. If any of you would like me to send you a card, please send me an email and I'll put my email address right here so that you can do that and send me an email. And if you have a specific one you want, let me know and I'll work with you. If I can send it to you, the specific one, I'll try to do that. I'm happy to send as many as I can send because, you know, clearly I have a lot to send now. So I hope that you enjoyed this, that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please tell your friends about me on social media because you know I love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.